welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks for clicking on my video today. I'm your host, Jonathan, and today we're going to do another quick tips video, the best of series video. So if you like my videos, you like the tips, the advice, maybe some of the humor, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now so you can get notifications of when I post or upload new videos. So subscribe to my YouTube channel today. Okay, so. This question I get asked a lot as well is what is the best screen size to use when you're screen printing t-shirts? Basically the frame. What's the best frame size? Okay, so what size is the best screen for printing t-shirts? But before we talk about this, please remember I do sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. You can check out all of my offerings there and it's important to note that we're featuring new lower shipping rates for 2019. So if you weren't happy with shipping rates in the past, come back. I invite you to come back to the e-commerce site, catspitscreenprintsupply.com. Check out the shipping rates, do a shipping quote, and I think you'll find that the rates have gone down. All right, so let's move on to the question. Okay, so let me just preface this by saying, yes, there are a lot of small wood screens that you can find at the arts and crafts stores. So you'll find very small 8 by 10 or 12 by 14 or whatever it is, I'm not sure, 11 by 17, whatever. They make really tiny wood screens and you'll find them at like Dick Blick or uh, Michael's or Ben Franklin or your local arts and crafts store. Um, they're made by Speedball, I think is the most common one. And they'll be tiny little frames, okay? But when we're talking about commercial screen printing and we're working on a manual screen printing press like the one here, or a single station, but you know, a commercial type manual press, whether it's a bench top, single station, two, two station, whatever, has the print head and the pallet, right? We usually will use a 20 by 24 screen, like this one. Okay, so this is 20 by 24 outer dimensions, and the frame is about, I forget, it's probably about an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half. It's somewhere around there. It's not quite two inches. And what we try to do is we try to stay about two inches away from the frame edge. Okay, so, you know, I think you can go about, uh, you know, 14 inches would be like pushing it because, you know, a 16 inch scoop coater will coat this thing pretty much side to side. So 14 inches, 13 inches wide, you know, is, is okay. All right, and the reason why we use a screen like this and you know, for even if we're doing just a little print is because the screen is big enough to allow us to place the artwork in the right spot so it won't be too low. So if we were to use one of those little wood screens from Speedball, right, and it's a tiny little screen, it's only 10 inches long, it's, it's not gonna have enough space to put that design on the right place on this pallet you can freehand it with those little tiny screens, but they're not gonna work very well with a manual rotary screen printing press or a fixed station, single color. It's just not gonna work very well. So a 20 by 24 screen is gonna be the most ideal screen for a manual rotary screen printing press. And it might look something like this. So this is kind of a typical one color setup. I've shown you the screen before, right? A big front or back, and then uh, left chest over here, and this could be anything. This one could be a, a, a print for koozies or a print for onesies or maybe whatever. It could be a sleeve print. could be anything that'll fit in that area that we can mount on a pallet and get in the right spot, right? So the 20 by 24 screen is your standard best scenario for a manual screen printing press, okay? All right now that doesn't mean that you can't go bigger if you need to you can okay so if you have a scenario where you need to have a bigger print then we would use what we call an automatic screen so this is a screen that is 23 by 31 inches outer dimensions and this is most often used in an automatic press and the reason why the screen is so big compared to the automatic pallet actually is to allow enough space for the automatic print head to do its flood and stroke and stuff like that because it's a, you know, it's a, kind of a big piece of equipment. So it needs a little bit more room to work the, the flood bar and the squeegee on the press, okay? And 
the pallets tend to be a little bit bigger on automatic presses than on, on manual presses, at least stock, standard size, you follow? Okay, so a 23 by 31 screen is usually only used for an automatic press, but if we wanted to make a really big print on a manual screen, uh, screen printing press, we could use a 23 by 31. And that now allows us to do a bigger print. Maybe we do a small poster or maybe a small corrugated sign, you know, something like that. Or a big print that's not quite all over maybe, but you know, oversized printing. And then of course you would need a palette to match the size of the uh, design, right? Okay, so that's what it is. The best size for screen printing t-shirts when you're talking about working on a, a manual rotary press that's kind of commercial grade, you know, even the entry level bench presses and stuff, they're gonna be set up the same way, okay? If you're on a press like this, you're gonna to wanna to use a 20 by 24 for your everyday stuff, and then once in a while you might use a 23 by 31, maybe, if you had something bigger, okay? Now, one last thing I'll mention is, is that you will see screens smaller in the screen printing shop, a commercial shop, but they're gonna be for something like a numbering system. So you'll see here, this is the Ranar numbering system, which I have to do a video about, and it has a small screen that fits inside a master jig, okay? So this is, I don't know what size screen this is, but this is a numbering screen, and we really don't use this size screen for anything else, it's just too small, okay? So that's basically the rundown on screens. That's it, it's pretty simple. 20 by 24 screens are gonna be your best option for manual screen printing. 23 by 31 are, is gonna be the ones that you want for automatic screen printing. Simple as that. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you need screen printing equipment or supplies, check out catsbitscreenprintsupply.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to support the free production of educational screen printing videos right here on YouTube for free. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.